YouTube, Webcam9000 here, today uh, with you for another Logic Pro 9 video. Today uh, I want to talk about a feature in Logic called Ultra Beat, which is basically Logic's drum map. Um, there is a big mi misconception that uh, Logic doesn't actually have a drum map, uh, unlike Cubase and a lot of the other uh, audio editing software. Uh, what is a drum map? Well, essentially a drum map is... Um, I'll provide, I'll provide a picture in a second. Uh, it's like a, a grid where you have your beats laid out in either quavers or semi-quavers, and then the list of percussive instruments down the side. And then basically, you put uh, a little square or a triangle, uh, you draw in where you want the beats to be on what percussive instrument. And then essentially what it will do is it will play uh, what you've written in. But usually you get it along the track, uh, and it's sort of quite difficult to manipulate. and a lot of people do uh, believe that Logic doesn't have a, a drum map option. But today I'm going to show you how to create sort of drum loops and how to get the drum map up. So what you're going to have to do first is obviously create a new track, which I've done here. Just go new, new software, uh, instrument track, and then create. But obviously I've got one here, so that's fine. Uh, then go to media. And then go drums and percussion. And then you're greeted with three uh, folders. Um, unless, but unless you have installed the whole thing, in which case you should be greeted with more, but uh, not going to worry about that today. Acoustic drum kits. Uh, if I in, if I uh, load up the seventies drum kit, uh, basically uh, I can create that and then start writing uh, for drums any way I like like that, and uh, it will play it. And that's very basic. It's quite difficult to write for drums like that. Um, at least I find that anyway, because I, I've never, you know, I never play the drums. I don't know where it's meant to go on stave, etc., etc. So that that's quite confusing. But if you want to get the drum map, ignore the warp drums. I think that's pretty much the same uh, as the seventies kit, but with different sounds. If you click on Ultra Beat Drum Kits and then go to the very bottom and click uh, Studio Tight Kit, which is the one we're going to need for this, um, it will give you the sort of the normal drum kit sounds. Uh, the others sort of provide different sounds, uh, but do exactly the same thing. So if you want a different sort of sounding one, like a, a club uh, track, uh, sort of African style, uh, electro, etc., etc., you know, you can have that. But I'm going to go uh, Studio Tight Kit. And it gives you all these presets on the side here. So obviously you've got your EQ, which of course you can you can change. So I want to put the treble up a little bit, I want to put the bass up a little bit. Um, You've got a compressor, you've got a reverb, and then you've also got a limiter as well. These are the presets that Apple put on uh, their sort of drums, uh, or any instrument that they put on, they will put on presets. Um, and But also you can add or remove any one of them uh, at your will. And then at the bottom, there's an input called Ultra Beat. And now what you're going to do, uh, there is a list, a whole load of lists. Don't worry about any of these. Uh, Usually, if you choose an instrument, it will automatically assign that instrument to one of these anyway, so I, I wouldn't worry about it. But we're just going to be focusing on Ultra Beat today. So if you double click Ultra Beat, you're greeted with a very, very sort of baffling uh, screen, which I recommend you don't mess about with. Uh, it's fine as it is, uh, you know. If you want a different sound, again, just go to different drum kits and choose a different drum kit, uh, and then you can get different sounds. So. But I'm going to stick with the Studio Tight Kit again today because that's just the ordinary drum kit. Um, to see the drum map, all you need to do is click Ball View, and this is your drum map. Basically, here, this is actually the equivalent of three bars. Um, I don't know why. One thing that does baffle me, I don't know why they have a session bass uh, at the very top. So I, I want to get rid of all those, like so. Um, but if I just quickly play this to you, this is what it sounds like. Okay, so that is one loop, and of course they've got uh, they give you provide you one, and actually um, this matches the tempo uh, at the bottom here, so 120 um, BPM, and the time signature as well, which is 44. Obviously, you can change that to 34, whatnot, and it will it will match it up here, and uh, also the same with the tempo. But I don't want to do that today. I might I will uh, show you the mess about with the tempo, but uh, nothing else. This is basically just a, a very simple uh, drum map sort of style. Obviously, we've we've heard this, so you know. Um, 
and it's very basic you know obviously you can see all your instruments down the side you can actually pan them left and right so you know if you want to get that effect of a real drum kit so you have you know cymbal on the left snare uh, on the right uh, bass drum directly in the middle maybe hi-hat to the right uh, maybe the ride and then toms to the left as well you can do that so it's really really good um, but basically if you wanna yeah, if you wanna add uh, one you basically just click wherever you want to uh, and if you want to add more you can actually click and hold and then drag and do that and make funny patterns and make it sound really stupid like so um, if you want to get rid of anything if you click and hold in the bottom corner and then drag up you can actually get rid of everything you've done uh, again here this represents around about three bars or so um, I'm going to just create a very simple pattern like so um there we go um and then i'm actually going to decrease the the length of the loop down to 16 so i'm going to halve it and then press play and that will obviously keep on looping because i i've reduced the number of bars down to 16 um and I, you know, I can add uh, whatever I like to that as well. So, uh, and, and basically, just add anything and go nuts. It isn't the best, um, you know. It isn't the best uh, loop I could have made, but you know, it's just it's a very good uh, demonstration. Obviously, down here you've actually got velocities as well. So, if you want to change a velocity, uh, you can, which is really quite good. And if you want to get this onto your track, this is the clever part. Uh, if you go down here uh, and then drag to arrange window, you drag it to the arrange window, and there is your loop on the arrange window. I'll just drag that to the very beginning. But what is the problem uh, that I'm about to play here? If I just move that like that. I have my loop and the ultra beat playing at the same time. So what you essentially what you need to do is actually if you're going to drag that onto the uh, arrange window, turn off the sequencer because that way you'll learn, you'll just get the um, loop you dragged onto your track like so. And if you want to repeat it, just go into the corner and then drag out and you can loop it as many times as you like. The uh, each bar is represented by a line uh, sort of uh, at each bar line. So whenever the uh, original loop ended that's where you'll put a little line. If you want to edit it without going back into Ultrabeat, you can do that. So obviously double click and here is the data that is in basically from Ultrabeat. So if I want to change uh, all these notes to, I don't know, that one instead and then, you know, maybe add uh, an, an extra note, extra notes here, here and here. Um, it's fine, you can do that, so you can manipulate it around in the piano roll if you want to, so that saves you going back into Ultra Beat uh, and then creating a new loop. Um, obviously you're going to have to know where each uh, percussive instrument is placed. Um, and then, which, the good thing about this, uh, if you basically edit that first bar, it affects the rest of the loops, uh, so if you've looped it, it, it will affect the rest of the loops as well, which is really quite handy, so it, you know you don't have to um, make those same changes to the rest of the loops, so just play it for you. Actually, I might just get rid of my changes, but probably sounds bad, there we go. So you know it's it's really quite easy to use, and so that just shows that there is a, a, a drum map. Um, but you know if you uh, want to change, uh, if you change the tempo, let's change it to ninety. Um, you have to wait just a, a sort of a few seconds. It gives uh, Ultra Beat time to figure out the new tempo, and then it will realign to your new tempo as well, which is quite handy. Um, I will go back up to 120. So uh, yeah, that is actually a, about it for uh, Ultra Beat and drum maps in Logic Pro. Um, obviously, you can create as many uh, loops as you like, uh, and then loop it around a song. And obviously, it will uh, be in time. It will fit to whatever tempo you create. It's really, really handy. Uh, I just want to sort of blow this misconception away that there uh, are no drum maps in Logic because there are. So. Um, yeah, that is about it. 
Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be covering next uh, in my logic videos, so please, uh, you know, I would like some suggestions from uh, you guys because I, I don't know what to uh, really do. Um, so yeah, please rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Mercury Ollie, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.